Hey guys, it's me, Sean. We're back here with more Bounty Train. When we left off, we were here in uh, Utica. It looks like Utica, New York, right? Something like that. It's always, we're always in the Northeast right now. What was going on? Let's see, we've got some money. Does not look like we are loaded up on stuff. So I guess we're gonna wanna buy some stuff. Have we opened up the route to Buffalo yet though? cannot remember. I, uh, we have opened up the route to Buffalo, so we probably want to go there. But we don't know what stuff is going to sell for there, huh? I bet you there was some sort of plan I had at the end of the thing. Does anybody want to ride to Buffalo? No. Uh, New York and New York. I could take both of these guys to New York. Is there a big hurry for me to get to Buffalo? Four days, 13 hours. Could I get to New York in that time? Might be worth it to make some extra money. New York. Uh, three days and 18 hours. Well, I could make it there in time then. Cancel. Cancel. I, all right, I guess that was canceled. Um, if I load it up on goodies, could I still make it there? Ah, oh, I get so confused here. Sorry, guys. But we get to learn about all those little trains. If you pause it, you can learn all about it. All right. That's not really what I wanted to do. It's fine. So in New York, let's see. We have oil, oil, black gold, Texas tea. One of these buttons has to be for oil. There we go. Oil is $56 in Utica, $56 in New York. Well, that's no good. Food, I believe food was cheap in New York. $6 in Utica, $13 in New York. Tobacco, um, there, somewhere in here is gonna be tobacco. How did I miss it the first time around? There we go, $26, $5 in New York. Cheap in New York, I should be buying that there. Alcohol, I believe is, whoops, cancel. I believe alcohol is actually illegal in New York, so I don't really wanna be running illegal stuff. Coal. Do we need any more coal? I mean, probably want to fill up on coal. Um, jewelry. I think jewelry was cheap in New York. We may have gone through this at the end of the last episode. Mm, I could make reasonable money with jewelry. And medicine. Um, medicine. $44. It's cheap in New York. So jewelry is my best bet. I can only afford to buy one. So that's fine. We'll go with that. Let's go back to the station. Let's pick up those passengers. We're gonna accept that task. Four days and 13 hours. We're gonna accept that task. Close that down. And we are going to head out to New York City. All right. Oh, so picking up that jewelry definitely extended our trip. We're to four days and nine hours. We should still be able to make it. I guess we picked up that coal as well. But let's uh, let's head out. See if we can make a safe and uneventful trip. Looks like we haven't had any raiders or anything. Looks like we've made money. I don't really know what all this stuff is. Um, but we don't need to worry about it. So trading, I am kind of curious about this. Okay, so yeah, doesn't break it down at all. Uh, 1,300 income, 1,000 expenses, so we've only made $300 in trading, which is disappointing. So our net profit loss is $228, so our loss must have been on coal and stuff. We need to make more money on our quests here. We lost, actually lost money on quests last month because that one guy, we didn't quite get him there in time. But we made decent money transporting those fellas. Maybe. Let's go to the market sell that jewelry. Profit $30. Not so great. Uh, tobacco is very cheap here. Um, let us definitely load up on that. And uh, hopefully it's lightweight. I didn't really consider that. Uh, we do need to load up on coal. So that leaves us with 500 something dollars. So we've got plenty of cash. Um, what do we got going on for, uh, for, for these folks here? I think these guys were potential employees. <coughs> Excuse me, I don't think I can hire anybody else. 
Do I have an employee right now? I don't. I do want to hire one. I also have the ability to level up. So I can improve my gunslinger skills. Give myself kung fu. Give myself strength. Well, the base health might not be so bad. I'll, I'll take that. I don't really know. Oh. Oh, and we leveled up again. Wow, cool. Alright. Reload speed and evasion. I think we're going to go with the uh, gunslinger. Cool. Now what's this? Oh, those are my railroad shares. Got it. Can't really change those things. Current experience, next, next level. Alright, that's good to know. Uh, Alright, let's go back. Um, so I do still need to hire a guy. What's Ephraim? He wants a job for $430. Jeez Louise. What has he got going on? Oh, he's got a musket. Which seems neat. I'm not really... Not really familiar with what... I mean, I am familiar with a musket in general, but within the context of this game, I'm not familiar. He does have a strong ability, a headshot ability. Seems like he might be a pretty good guy to get. He's also kind of expensive. Alright, $430 for that guy. Andrew here is $295. And he's got a pistol. And his ability is stunning. Yep. I think I had liked Sandro. Sandro's $290. Sandro also has a pistol. That's right, he has the firefighting ability. Um, which I feel like might be a good ability to have. He also has more hit points, and he's a lot cheaper. Um, so you know what? I'm going to go ahead and hire this guy. <clears throat> so now I've got, excuse me, I've got a, uh, a guy here. Let's see what they have. Uh, Washington and Boston. Well, I am heading towards Boston. He would want to be in Boston in two days and 14 hours, huh? Let's see, Boston, two days, 14 hours. One day and 21 hours, well I can definitely do that. So I think I will transport that guy. Let me, uh, but first I'm going to go to the depot and I can't afford a new engine or any new cars. That's not really what I'm here for. What's a middle caboose? That's weird. Oh, medium size is probably what it means. But I might want to get an upgrade. So, um, booster increases. Oh, okay, so that's a boost thingy. High durability. Right. Armor. Fire resistant. Tender. Proof firebox. Proof firebox, I wouldn't mind. Costs $90. That's going to save us money over time. Yes, let's do it. Uh, I, now, I, I wonder if that improves... So it does seem to have improved our sale price. Let's take another look here. We're at 838. We're going to put in $108. 914. So, we'll get most of it back when we sell it. Alright, that's worth it. Great. Okay. Good. Let's grab our passenger. This fellow's going to Boston. Accept. Sure, accept it. Close that out. And it's off to Boston. Travel. I should set it to auto buy coal. We should always just fill up on coal. And here we go. We have taken care of that guy. Coal purchased. Um, made a little bit of money. Uh, what will they pay me for tobacco here? Do we have a place that pays well for tobacco? Sort by sale price. Well, Boston pays well for tobacco. Isn't that lucky? There we go. Made the most money we could, which is really not that much, but still, we did all right. Um, now, what? Uh, I could just travel back and forth between New York and Boston. It's on the tobacco trade, but I'm not gonna. 
So, cotton is cheap in Boston. So it's pretty good in Utica, so I could buy cotton if I wanted to. Furs. I'm never going to learn where these things are. Furs. Uh, not such a great price here. Alcohol. Alcohol is cheap in Portland. What's this? Weapons. Weapons are always good. Weapons are cheap in New York. Oh, they're illegal in Boston. Huh. Oh. Prohibited to be imported in Boston, but they can be sold in Boston. I wouldn't really make enough money taking them up to Portland, though. Jewelry seems to be at the uh, high end of things, if I remember correctly. Yeah, I'd lose money trying to take that to Portland. Medicine... Nope, I could take that to Portland and make reasonable money. So I'd make $25 per thing taking medicine, and if I were to take cotton, make $20. So it'd be better to take. But you know what? I should I should go to uh, I should just go to Utica. I don't really know that there's anything I can take to Utica. What do my... Oh, you know what? Here, let's see. Does the city have anything? Deliver fur, fur to New York. So this means what? I just need to bring two units of food to Boston? Deliver two units of fur to New York. And I could pick up the... I could pick up uh, food while I was in New York and bring it back here to Boston. All right, let's do that. So we're gonna take the fur to New York. Let's see if there's any passengers that need to go to New York. No, of course they don't. Cancel. But I do seem to remember there was something else that we could take to New York that would be profitable, not cotton. Sort of fur, no, not furs. Alcohol's illegal. Weapons, maybe? No, weapons are cheap in New York. Um, medicine, I guess? No, medicine's cheap in New York, too. Alright, well, there's nothing we can take to New York that'll make us any money. Alright, uh, but I do want to pick up the uh, food thing as well because I want to bring, obtain two food and bring it to Boston. So, because we're going to pick up food while we're in New York. Great. All right, let's close that out. I guess uh, we're done here. Not a whole lot to do in this town. Um, I don't need to upgrade anything in the depot. Oh, hospital. Cool. I didn't know about that. Uh, show me what you've got. Could buy some better boots. I don't know what good does that going to do me. Maybe improve my agility or something? But you know what? I'm not going to put my money on uh, put my money in that. All right. Have a nice day. Okay. Back to New York we go. New York City. No trouble. Made it back to New York. Let's go to City Hall. I guess we cleared that out. Uh, they don't need me to take, but they do want me to take some stuff to Buffalo. Ten days and seven hours. Well, I can do that. Because I am heading back to Buffalo. And two units of fur to Buffalo. And I have nine days and 53 minutes. Alright, well, we're heading to Buffalo, so. Alright, we're going to close that out. Um, we are going to go to the market. Do I have anything to get rid of? Get rid of these furs. Oh, wait. No, no, no. Duh. It's the stuff I'm trying to transport. Now. Oh, shit. Uh, did I, uh... Uh... What, what are my existing... How can I find out? Oh, there we go, right here. So... 
deliver two fur to New York. I thought I just did that. Talk to the clerk in City Hall. Oh, here we go. Great. Okay, that makes sense. I was like, why do I have so much, uh, so much cargo? All right. So uh, one unit of food to Buffalo. That's right there. Right. I need to get two units of food to Boston. Cotton, food, two units of food, got it. And two units of fur to Buffalo, okay. So I need to go to Boston, deliver this food, and then I'm heading off to Buffalo, great. All right, so, uh, you are going to Washington, I'm not interested in that. Gunsmith, hmm. So I could buy a better weapon if I want to. I have a Smith & Wesson, which gives me a 7.5 rate of fire, 63% accuracy. Ah, good, so it shows me that, well, that would be a terrible weapon. So quite a bit more damage if I were to buy this carbine. Of course, it's a rifle. Uh, but you know what? I think I'm going to stick with what I have. It wouldn't let me buy me, I guess, because you're only allowed to have one weapon at a time. Makes sense. I could buy a grenade. That'd be fun. But I'm not going to. Uh, oh, I could also switch out this fellow here. That Remington revolver seems to be pretty good. I'm going to leave things the way they are, though. Uh, I want to get better melee weapon. like that. It's actually pretty cheap, too. Um, grenade. I don't think grenades count as a melee weapon, do they? That'd be fun if they did. Alright, you know what? We're gonna leave. We're just gonna, we're just gonna leave it. Um, bank. Oh, what's the bank? Really? Hmm. Did not know you could do that. Um, But I don't want to uh, necessarily deposit any of my cash. I'm going to hold on to it. All right. I think we're ready to go. Now we have Sandro. Okay, what? but why is Sandro hanging out in here? Shouldn't he be in there? There we go. I don't know if that's where he's supposed to be, but that's where I'm going to put him. Okay. Enough dilly-dallying. Let's head to Boston, deliver that food. Choo-choo! Go to the city hall. I am here concerning your supply run task. There we go, good. All right, any new uh, opportunities for me? Well, I'm heading towards Buffalo, but I guess you're not gonna let me. All right, so uh, two units of fur to Buffalo. One unit of food to Buffalo. We need to head that way. Um, any passengers going to Buffalo? Uh, Julia Gonzalez. Six days and 17 hours. I think I can probably make that. And Levi to Utica. Two days, 14 hours. All right. So to get to Utica, two days, 14 hours. I don't want to risk that. Get here, five days, zero hours. I can definitely do that. All right, so let's grab that pasture going to Buffalo. Accept. Goodbye. It's travel time. There we go, travel. See our coal. Uh oh. If you want to pass, you gotta give us a little donation, know what I mean? I don't even have the option to try to bribe them. I will just take your money. Uh, so my reputation will go down for attacking the bandits? Alright, now I gotta do this here. I don't really know how this. I haven't really done this before. 
Uh, let's speed up. Oh, shit! Oh, yeah. Okay, there we go. Ah, great. Okay, press space to click the pause button. To start shooting, right-click an enemy. Cover protects enemies and reduces damage. Ah, uh, mm, It would be nice if I could see more, uh, see more of what's going on. I can't really see... And do the guys have to walk to where they're going? Yeah, they do. All right. He can't shoot from there. Nope, can't hit him from there either. Still can't hit there. Here's not going to have any cover, though. But he can definitely shoot that guy. Sandro can hit as well. All right, victory. Uh, don't think anybody got hit or anything. Oh, Julia, apparently. What's her uh, What's her story here? No items lost. Oh, and that's that. Okay. I wasn't really paying enough attention to Julia. Uh, hopefully our... Um, hopefully our... Julia thing went okay. Oh, there you go, completed. Bring Julia to buff Buffalo. Got, got building up that cash. All right, good day, sir. I'm here concerning your deliver food to Buffalo thing and your units of fur. All right, look at that money. We are loading up on the money. Um, I am not going to accept any of these tasks right now. We can't get to any of those towns. I'm actually going to focus on our quest. So, uh, these we can close up. Now, can I just eliminate and delete? Oh, good, I can delete all my completed stuff out of here. I don't really care to be reminded. I don't need to be reminded of my failure either, that's for sure. Alright, that's completed, 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 completed. Alright, get rid of all the completed ones. Alright, ask people in Buffalo about your brother. Alright, Mark. Needs to get to Detroit? No. Uh, actually, I'm not. Why is that important? Because I have something to sell, but only someone who doesn't know my cheating good-for-nothing husband would be interested. It's a key to tobacco store driven in the city. Why don't you sell it to someone from the city? No one would accept it because they know I'm selling it. She is having an affair with another woman. I want to sell tobacco before leaving that scumbag. What do you say I help you get even if you know what I mean? Hmm... I don't know. I don't want to be a a, raps, a, a ruffian. All right. You'd receive 30 crates of tobacco, and I'd sell you the key for $120. That's the money I need to get out of here. That is a lot of tobacco. You know what? I'll do it. Now, what am I going to do with the 30 crates of tobacco? Oh, I have to get to Knoxville? Well, that's... Um, somehow I missed that. I thought it was going to be right here in Buffalo. Alright, well, that's kind of disappointing. Victoria is looking for a job. Um, I'm interested, but I don't have room for another person. Victoria, um, Hannah would pay me $390 to go to Chicago, unfortunately. I am not in any condition to do that. Graham. Uh, what is this young country if one can't travel without getting robbed? Um, sir, you're sending trouble. Can I help you? Japan has finally opened its pores. Collector of the exotic purchase several crates of Japanese trinkets. Relayed bandits on the way from Philadelphia. So you want me to hunt down the bandits and retrieve what was stolen? Uh, I need to find my brother. Can you help me? 
Uh, sure, I can try and associate a minus fighting in Philly with one last crate, then make the initial shipment and interrupt the task, speak to him there, and bring the crate to me. Otherwise, alright. Um, no uh, time limit on this, so that's good. Um, there's a penalty. But, uh... I'm worried. Why is there... How, how would the penalty... Like, how would I fail? You know what I mean? I guess I'm going to do it, though. Because I do need to work on trying to find my brother. Frank. Looking for my brother. Spending my time in the saloon. Uh, perhaps a small favor. Help me. Jeez, $1,000? What do you have in mind? Arrive in Portland, deliver a letter to Mary. Well, that's pretty easy. Oh, Mary! That's the one who doesn't like me looking at her, huh? Alright, I'll do it. Sounds suspicious, but I'm gonna do it anyways. Um, now, was that? That was Graham. Oh, nope, that was Frank. Jeez. Now that I look at this guy... Maybe I shouldn't be delivering his messages. Edith needs to get to Philly. I cannot get you to Philadelphia. Milton is a potential employee, but I have no room for employees. And I guess that's going to be it, huh? Post office. Let's uh, subscribe to the Buffalo newsletter. Bye. City Hall. Everybody wants me to go to Philadelphia. That's right, we already looked at this, didn't we? I can't do any of those things. Alright, we'll stop by the market. Anything I want to buy here in the marketplace? Cloth? Whoops. Cloth. It's somewhat cheap here in Buffalo. $13. I'm going to Portland, so that's not a very good deal for cloth. Steel, oh, always, always do that. Steel is cheap in Portland, so no thank you. Uh, jewelry, I still haven't got my hands around what the price is for jewelry. There it is. Um, nope, cheaper in Portland. Tools. Tools are cheap here in Buffalo, and they're... Uh, I'm not going to make that much money taking them to Portland, though. Medicine, maybe? $46, $75 in Portland, so I'd make almost $30 per medicine. So that's going to be the uh, that's going to be the one to do. So let's do it. $130. At least me $400. I guess my people need uh, medical attention. $4 for treatment. And $2 for treatment. Great. If we go to the depot. This is a, a caboose, caboose. Passenger carriage. Cargo carriage for $500. So I could use another cargo carriage, but it's gonna gonna be a little bit before I can afford that. Um, do I want to try to do another upgrade or two to my train. This would store more coal, which wouldn't really be a bad idea. But I think I want to give this additional horsepower. It's kind of expensive, but we've got the money. And um, let's repair it up. It's going to take a while, but it's cheap. Do these guys need any repairs? You know what? Let's repair everything. They got some minor damage during the uh, fighting that we did. All right. Everything's back to normal now. And we are ready to go. So back out to the station. And that's going to be it for this episode, you guys. I hope you are having fun. I really like this game. 
and uh, I hope you do too. So uh, I will see you with the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. Bye, everybody.